hello beginners of vx works or real time operating system this is an overview of vx works let's for the beginners so let's try to get on to the introduction vx works is a real time operating system developed as a proprietary software by wind river systems it is highly per it is a high performance <coughs> unix like scalable autos and supports arm pentium intel x scale super h and other popular processors for embedded system designs vx works design is hierarchical and well suited for hard real time applications it supports kernel mode execution for tasks for faster execution and application codes so let's get into the <coughs> the latest version of vx works is 6.9 the first commercial grade Autos to fully support both 32 bit and 64 bit processor on Intel architecture. So, basic features are one multitasking environment using standard POSIX scheduler, two ability to run two concurrent operating system on a single processing layer, multiple file system, and that enables advanced multimedia functionalities. For synchronization using a full range of IPC options, different context saving mechanisms for tasks and ISRs, virtual I.O. devices including pipes and sockets, virtual memory ma management functions, power management functions to enhance the ability to control power consumption like UEM, Universal Energy Managers in mobile phones. Um, UEMs into a automation, um, independent automation pads, <coughs> interconnecting functions that support large number of protocols, pipe, um, pipe drivers for IPCs, network transparent sockets, networks drivers for shared memory and Ethernet, RAM disk drivers for memory uh, resident files. Processor abstraction layer to enable application system design by using user when by using new versions of processor architectures. The, let's get into the arti, uh, architecture of it. Initially developed and uh, network environment for VRTX that is versatile real time executive. A later Windows River system developed by its own developed their own micro kernel. So VX works is of client server architecture from the beginning the heart of vxworks runtime system is the wind microkernel which supports full range of real time features including multitasking scheduling intertask synchronization or communication and memory management all other functionality is implemented as process so this is the architecture you can look through hardware independent software when you come from the bottom vxworks system architecture you have scsi controllers serial controller clock timer ethernet these are all the devices and a csi driver and a board support package and network driver so the bottom layer is an hardware which is um, bilateral and you have a platform for some hardware called board support package and um, <coughs> network drivers which independently work T and SCSI driver which intact communicates with IO systems through file system and uh, win kernel and the BSP communicates with IO systems and you have VX works libraries TCP IP and some tool applications so task management is the main stuff so generally any operating system will have four to five four to five states so what are all the states we have are here in this particular uh, operating system you will have eight different types of states encountered by the task so it has solution for all eight generally we know suspend ready pending and delayed 
but this also supports task management with combination of that so like suspend idle state just after creation or <clears throat> state where execution is inhibited ready waiting for running and cpu access in case scheduled by the scheduler pending state and delayed state sent to the pending state means when it is blocked for some reasons or from ipc or from a resource delayed state is sent to sleep for a certain time interval delayed plus suspend is a new thing which vxworks supports more extensively delayed a task which is delayed and then suspended if it is not preempted during the delay period pended for an ipc that is inter process communication plus suspended so combination of pended for an ipc plus suspended so <coughs> pended for ipc plus delayed so pended for ipc plus suspended so in the previous versions we had only four states to five states so this uh, operating system manages eight different states with the combination of the four different states so coming back to <coughs> functions involved in task management so kernel library are included in header files vxworks.h and kernel lib.h task and this thing um, task and functions are included in task lib and syslib.h um, user task priorities are between 101 and 255 priorities lowest priority means high lowest number means task of highest priority mm -hmm. 255 system tasks have the priorities from 0 to 99 for tasks the highest priority by default so let's see some functions task span so task span is something which um, is used for creating and activating a task in the purpose <coughs> prototype is given here like task id unsigned int task id is equal to task span name priority option what is the size stack size of that particular task Mm, main arguments 10 arguments we are giving 10 arguments just like that next task suspend task suspend tid task id which inhibits identifier by task id task resume task restart It resumes the execution of the task and task restart is restart the from <coughs> first terminates a task and uh, text task span again with its original assigned arguments the third function is task deletion and deletion protection so this is very important uh, for a tcb task control block in a task control block i have already given one particular um, <coughs> video please check through for in detail about this so many times each task should itself execute the codes for the following one is memory deallocation to ensure that the waiting task get the desired ipc three close a file which was opened before delete child four is delete child task when the parent task executes the exit function and the fourth task management function is delaying a task to let a low priority task get access so init int system clock rate get returns the frequency of the system ticks therefore to be delayed 0.25 seconds the function task delay clock divided by 4 is used clock rate get divided by 4 is used for 0.25 seconds so memory management <coughs> mm, share the same all the systems and all application tasks share the same memo, same address this means um, that faulty applications could accidentally access system resource and compromise an op optional tool name vxvmi 
is available that can be used to allow each task to have its own address space here we can configure the address space default physical page size is used is 8 kb so default physical page size has a limit of 8 kb virtual memory support is available with vx vmi tool so vx works does not offer privilege protection the privilege level is always zero that is always it will be in a supervisor mode next task after task management and memory management you have a new feature called interrupt so if you get an external interrupts or isrs in the vxworks run in a special context of thread con of any threads context so that there are no thread context switching involved so which is a which is a greater advantage if you keep on engaged in the loop of context switching um, we lose lots of time there but that is avoided here by this uh, special uh, special feature the c function that a user attaches to a interrupt vector is not the actual isr the interrupt cannot directly vector to c function so features of isr and vx works are one isrs have highest priorities and can preempt any running task and isr with inhibits the execution of tasks till return and isr does not execute like a task and does not have regular and context and isr should not use mutex semaphore isr should just write the required data at the memory or buffer isr should not use floating point functions as these take longer time to execute so if you see our general structured program in a firmware or anything we encounter these point 4 point 5 point 6 and point 3 regularly so that has been solved by this uh, organization that is what all operating system is a, that is what the operating system is all about <coughs> performance real time performance reliability a highly a high reliability rtos vxworks provides certification evidence required by strict security standards even for non safety critical systems vxworks is counted on to run forever error free scalability and indispensable autos foundation for very small scale devices large scale network system and everything in between vxworks is the first operating rtos to provide 64 bit processing to support the ever growing data requirements for embedded real time systems vxworks is scalable in terms of memory footprint and functionality so that it can be tuned as per the requirement of the project interrupt latencies interrupt latency is the time elapse between the uh, interrupt and the first instruction in the interrupt handler It is called that is context switching time is called uh, interrupt latency the time needed to go from the last instruction in the interrupt handle handler to the next task set scheduled to run in interrupt dispatch latency in vxworks 5.3.1 exhibits an interrupt latency of 1.4 to 2.6 microseconds and a dispatch latency of 1.6 to 2.4 microseconds which is awesome na Mm, priority inheritance vxworks has a priority inheritance mechanism that exhibits in optional optimal uh, performance which is essential for an rtos footprint which is very vital once again vxworks has completely <laughs> vxworks has completely configurable and tunable small memory footprint for today's memory constrained systems the user can control how much of the operating system he needs so applications 
VXWorks is widely used in market for great variety of this thing. VXWorks has successfully used in both military and civilian avionics, including the Apache attack helicopter that is US Boeing 787-747-8 Airbus A400M. It is also used in, uh, in on ground avionic systems such as in both civilian and military radar systems. Yeah, another safety critical application that enters the VXWorks in BMW's iDrive system which is very latest actually we all see the advertisements of iDrive right? VXWorks is also widely used in non-safety critical applications where performance is at premium like the Xerox phaser a postscript premiere is controlled by a VXWorks powered platform Linksys wireless routers use VXWorks for operating switches. VXWorks has been used in several mm, space applications. Challenges are greatly increased by the need of extremely low power consumption and lack of access to regular maintenance. VXWorks autos can be chosen as an operating system <coughs> for onboard computers that is OBCs. Uh, Clementine launched in 1994 is running VXWorks 5.1 on MIPS based CPU responsible for star tracker and image processing algorithms. The Spirit and Opportunity Mars exploration rovers were installed with VXWorks. VXWorks is also used as operating system in several industrial robots and distributed control systems. Even myself saw VXWorks into the textile mill automation textile mill automation and manufacturing of a huge machineries automations like lathe machine manufacturing lathe machine itself so for automations also the automation manufacturing sector also they go with the VXWorks operating system. conclusion the need to develop for real time embedded systems is always a channel challenge especially when expensive Hardware is at risk. The complex nature of such systems requires special designs and considering all the features given by the VXWorks, VXWorks is an ARTAS which meets almost all of these requirements. For bibliography, you can visit www.windriver.com and Embed Systems Architecture by Raj Kamal, www.wikipedia.com and as you know, we all have google.com. Thank you.